is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John City 4 and hopefully you guys miss me I know I haven't done a thing for the past few days and I do apologize for that it's just that I was super sick I've never been this sick before where I ended up in bed for more than 15 hours man I had a super bad fever I couldn't do anything I couldn't even live stream my nose was clogged I was sneezing all over the goddamn place I was just super sick man I couldn't do anything so uh so thank you for some of you guys for being patient and still liking my videos and still watching till today you know I appreciate you all you guys are crazily amazing you know thank you for sticking by for that long guys so anyways moving on to today guys I will be talking about some of the new weapons in Call of Duty World War 2 that were given for free by Activision I am quite surprised about this because I know every single good deed will have a bad side of the story you know no matter how good the story is like oh freaking you know EA over there gave out the freaking season pass for free to everyone you know there's no season pass no DLC no anything everything's within the game and at the end of the day you know they screwed us over the loot boxes and we had to grind forever for to unlock some of the you know some of the heroes so there's always a catch for everything that's given out for free and that's something that really really worries me about this whole situation about Activision giving us free guns so so, because I always thought, you know, to be honest, ever since like summer, ever since I heard about this title, I started talking about some of the weapons they're going to be giving out and everything. And I always said they're going to give it out in supply jobs and all that stuff. But in reality, they actually gave it out in the contracts. And it's super easy to get. Like, all you have to do is just play 50 games of multiplayer of any mode or get like 35 games or 75 games. It'll take you quite a while. But hey, it's super easily obtainable. And you're going to be able to have that gun permanently into your inventory so that's amazing you know ever since the freaking screw up of uh you know call of duty which call of duty was it that added that advanced warfare ever since advanced warfare i mean it's been a total mess up and uh adding the guns and supply just was just super hard to get because you know you always get duplicates and you always get like the same you have so many body parts to unlock and you know it was just super difficult to get some of the new guns and also in black ops 3 i mean you get a, you got call signs for days you got emblems for days and it, you, you always end up unlocking call signs that you don't even need so it was just super difficult to unlock some of these new weapons i am glad this year they're adding it to the contracts instead which are not super hard to do but i'm still asking the question guys what's the catch i wonder where activision is going to screw us over or have they changed their ways or maybe sledgehammer games going against you know activision because this is the first time that i actually see activision giving us something good like since, I don't know, since Black Ops 1. <laughs> Black Ops 1, like overall, like overall, was an incredible game. That was the last thing I remember being incredible in the Call of Duty franchise. And this year, I'm like, wow, you know, free guns? Damn, man. What the fuck? What what, what the hell did you guys eat? What the hell did you guys smoke to just give us everything for free? So, uh, it's something very questionable, guys. I don't know some of you guys are going to be saying, like, Oh, Joe, you know, just stop being negative, blah, blah. This, this, they're always going to be changing. But that's the thing, you know. They want you guys to be thinking like that. And then when they catch you off guard, pay up money. You know, somehow, some way, they're going to make you pay money. So, it's just something very questionable and the way they screwed us over the past few years is just very questionable how they're gonna do it this year i wonder how man because these weapons are one that came out the stern man that weapon is incredible that smg fucking a i picked it up from an enemy and i was just, just hip firing the enemies down like back to back kills and cannon tan and you know it was just amazing overall the weapons are good and um for sure for sure in the future they're gonna end up nerfing it because a lot of quick scorpers have been complaining about these weapons and from what i've seen on facebook they're really seriously crying in there so uh yeah so make sure you watch out for that nerfing because i'll probably talk about it in the future i'll probably start talking about some of the patches in call of duty world war 2 in the future so you guys can be aware about what's going on with some of the background stories of uh, call of duty world war 2 because right now it's looking a little bit sketchy ever since i saw the free weapons i'm like yeah that's sketchy as hell man that's sketchy as hell well i want to ask you guys when was the last time they ever did something like this never like terminal maybe like in modern warfare 3 where they gave us like terminal for free for, to everybody but that's about it that's about it that's the only free thing they gave out like in the whole franchise until now with the weapons so um incredible decision but overall something has to happen i'm not sure what it is but man my my senses are tingling you know i don't know what to expect from this but at some point they're gonna make us pay money or something 
So that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about today. Tell me what you think about it, about this whole situation in the comment section. Do you think there's a catch in receiving free weapons for Call of Duty World War II, or that's it? You know, they pretty much gave up and they want people in the game, so they're giving us weapons and they changed their acts. You know, because it's Activision, right? <laughs> So uh, that is it. Leave a like in the video. If you guys want to hear more commentaries, more topics, more gameplay of Call of Duty World War II or other stuff, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more because there's going to be more crazy stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys later.